get it watched. I, I'm Rhys McDonald. Today with me is my two guests, so we're discussing the issue of endless remakes and sequels in the film and game industry. But first, over to Tommy with the news. Thanks, Rhys. And good morning, everyone. First up, working a brand new big budget Fable game is underway. Microsoft owners of the Fable franchise have tasked UK developer Playground with creating this new Fable game. Sources close to the project have claimed. Playground games are known for making the Forza Horizon series for Xbox and recently opened a second studio early this year for an untitled open world game. Microsoft's decision to return to the beloved series was influenced by Guerrilla's game PS4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn. But don't expect to play Playground's Fable game anytime soon though, as inside sources claim that the development is still in its early days as Playground is currently staffing up the team. Quentin Tarantino has announced that he is working on his latest project, which is about the Manson murders. The project is written by Tarantino himself, who is also going to direct. Harvey and Bob Weinstein, who have produced Tarantino's previous films, are also involved. Tarantino is putting the finishing touches on this script and the plan is to start shooting in possible summer 2018. For final for our final piece of news, Fox and streaming service Hulu are teaming up to create a television series based on a popular video game, <coughs> Hitman. The pilot script is to be written by Derek Kolstad, creator and writer of the John Wick films, with the intention to stick as closely as possible to the mythology of the Hitman games. The two film efforts, 2007's Hitman and 2015 Hitman, Agent 47, were forgettable, but maybe this new TV version will meet the latest potential. The Hitman TV show is set to arrive in Hulu in 2019, that's it for the news today. That's all. Back to you, Reece. Cheers, Tommy. We're off for a short break, but when we come back, I'll be joined by my two guests, Gregor and Matthew, and we'll discuss the uh, dis uh, remakes and sequels in the film and game industry, so don't go away. Uh, welcome back. I'm joined by my two guests, uh, Matthew and Gregor. Welcome to you both. The discussion of today is about the endless remakes and sequels that are coming out in recent times. Uh, first of all, Gregor, how do you feel about this? Do you feel Hollywood will just keep bringing out just more remakes and sequels in order to make money? No. Well, I feel like that obviously there are some sequels that are there just cash grabbing, like the Han Solo film that's coming out and all that, but I don't feel like they're running out of ideas. You still see plenty of good new films coming out. You see Three Billboards, Dunkirk, The Biber Man and all that sort of thing. You know, all these films, fresh stuff from Hollywood coming out all the time still, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matthew, um, so? I think for sequels, I agree with Han Solo. Like, I think that might just be the case of getting the money, but um, I have to see when it comes out. But uh, I think for most sequels, no, I think, like, if you look at Avengers, for example, they're all building up to, you know, one thing, and it has been since the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. So. There's clearly a motive there. Star Wars obviously kind of been revamped over the last few years and putting like, you know, new things in, you know, like there's no more kind of Emperor Palpatine, it's now Snoke and the, you know, Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, you know, it's like these new things kind of changing it and it will obviously make the money because it's got Star Wars on. Mm -hmm. They said that like 2017 was the year for remakes and sequels, like especially in like the 
game industry and what do you think about that do you think it's the same as the movie industry or do you feel that it's I just I feel like they say that every year's the game year for remakes 2016 year for remakes 2015 year for remakes and all that stuff year for sequels and remakes it's no different really hmm. yeah, in my opinion video game wise uh, definitely more stuff in video games I suppose sequel wise isn't as good like Watch Dogs 2 and so on and Assassin's Creed they're not very good but then they come up with good sequels like uh, Uncharted 4 <laughs> that was technically that was really good. Mm, excellent, yeah. Best yeah. game of the year, apparently. Mm. Yeah, I I don't I think like films are doing well with the sequels. I think twenty seventeen was a good year for them because you know all make money. Transformers, Marvel, Star Wars. Um, I completely agree with the video games though. Mm. I think like some of them were good and some of them weren't so good. Like I loved the first Watch Dogs mm. and Watch Dogs Two. It's good in some parts and, mm. and not so good in others. Um, but I think, uh, like and like you said, Uncharted obviously does really well. But then they kind of, you know, shot themselves in the foot with that as well because they went too far and made the whole new one that I don't think had anybody. Like I didn't have Nathan Drake or that, that. It was a sort of spin-off one, but I just that that's definitely money grabbing. Yeah. It? If they just left exactly. it with a fourth one, it would be much better. Yeah. And um, do you feel that like? A lot of people say that original films don't really bring anything that you've not seen before at the table. Do you believe that to be true, or do you think there's you could argue with that? No, I think you can definitely argue. I think everything that's coming out that's original, like you don't ever see films like huge sequels go into the Oscars, with the, maybe the exception, the exception of Logan that came out yeah. um, earlier this year. It's all different, you know, brands of films, but you know, it's all, you know, whether it's three billboards or Manchester by the sea, whatever it's now making, doing progress. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, very interesting and enlightening thoughts there. Uh, many thanks to both my guests, uh, Gregor and Matthew. Uh, we'll be back next week talking about upcoming titles of this holiday season. Until then, see you later.